In this video, we are going to be fixing my Nikon Z50. It broke, the cable has actually kinked and snapped. I'll show you there, I've got the camera above. So we are going to take the Z50 apart and fix it, hopefully. Welcome back folks, great to have you guys back once again. If you have not seen the first video where I show you the fault on the Nikon Z50, I'll pop a link to a card above, you can go and check that out. I've been without the Z50 for a while now since that cable broke. I've been waiting for this cable to come. This cable has only just arrived. Now it looks really flimsy and it looks, it looks very flimsy. I've got to try and get it inside the Nikon Z50. I have had a message from somebody after I posted that video telling me that they had done the replacement of the ribbon and um, said it was quite straightforward. So I'm kind of hoping, fingers crossed, that I can actually do that. So I thought I'd make a video of it, show you guys how I'm going to replace the cable. Now I do think I just need to remove four screws on the face of it and a few screws on the back, I think. I believe we'll find out. So let's get into it. I think I'm going to start by possibly removing the LCD screen. And I think that's just these four screws here. Let's just see if they're coming all right. I'll have all the tools ready. I've got a pot for all of the screws just so I don't knock them all over the floor because no doubt I will lose them, which is not great. Actually, first things first, make sure there's no, oh, there's a battery in. We'll take the battery out. Let's take the battery out, just in case. Just in case. Battery is out, camera is off. Now I always, always struggle doing stuff like this because I have big, fat, clumsy fingers and anything that's small, I tend to struggle with. Um, right. So how is that gonna work now? I took the plate off the back. That's not just gonna come out. They're all going to come out separately. Let's have a look. Take these screws out of the back. Is that in line? Yes, it is. Hmm. I need to get this off of here. How's that going to happen? Maybe I need to undo them screws on the bottom as well. Okay, I probably should have left that on. But we'll undo these screws on the bottom. Are they the same size? No, they're not. Okay, so let's do this. No longer we have I think these are a little bit longer. Longer ones for the bottom. Inside the battery door, we'll have to open that and have a look. Yeah, there's one right down the bottom. Super fiddly, super fiddly. Just 
Sjælland. Right, so. There may be another one hiding somewhere. Possibly. Does this piece come off? Is there any under the eye piece? Yep, two under the eye piece. Smaller one, and we'll go now. Are we still any further forward? I'm going to put it inside here. Yep, there's one there. Two there. Two on the side. Small ones. No, oh, they're longer. They're longer. So remember which ones are which. So put this back in just for now so it's not pulling on any boards inside. Size ones there, too big. I'm trying to force that one in. I shouldn't have. So I'll just bring that back out. And I can see the thinner one there. So I'll use a thinner one. That's better. So, oh, there's two there. Two on the side. Slide out, great. Just gotta be careful that I don't actually break anything. Oh, there we go, there we go. So I need to oops. Went flying. So that is the cable. I don't want to be touching that one. How am I going to get that? That just needs to be pushed out of here, I think. Um, no, this cable's pretty much broad anyway. So all right, I'll just slide out, okay. Oh, didn't want that one to slide out, but it has. Okay, that one's come out as well. Okay, I didn't want that to happen. Right, but it has, so we'll deal with it. We'll move that over here. I 
And now we've got one, two, three, five on the back of the LCD screen, which I think I'm going to need to move, take off. I think this is a good time to actually take off the, uh, just take off the brackets as well. I would highly recommend that if you are not competent in doing this, don't follow my instructions at all. I am not an expert. You will be doing this at your own risk, but I would highly recommend if you're not competent in doing this, be sure to uh, have an expert do it for you. So that looks like... Off. Just obviously holding that in place. Let's storm with a little bit of tape on the back. See what's going on. I'm going to grab another light. Oh. Oh, that out there. It's just so I can see a bit more. seem to want to come out. I don't want to pull on it too much. Nah, it's out. Right, that took some doing, didn't it? So, that's there. 
Hop, açtıya gidelim. Ne Kop. Super, super thin. Just hope the cable lad has come, which I'll put a link in the description below if I can. If I can't, I'll probably do a blog post on how to change the ribbon cable. Sorry, on how I change the ribbon cable. There. A bit of sticky tape on that. Should just slide out there. I'm going to have this out. Oh, that's fine. So, let's have a look at this then. glue down a bit. Hmm. That 
sitting in here, isn't it? Okay, just drift it back. Or if you haven't brought anything off of there. So let's get this one out. for me touching it like that, I don't think. I'm not even sure how I should be touching it. So that has to slip. bent over. So what do I do with that? That it's bent over like that. And then we have what it looks like a soft pad, a sticky pad holding that. And I'm presuming that's just for Have one for that store. It's just went over on me. I don't actually have one. You fiddly flower pots. Presuming how we're going to do that then. Um, Time six minutes. So I think if we can probably just don't want that touching the bugger there. See, this is why I'd never ever mess on with fiddly things like this because my fingers are just way too fat. Let's have a look. Kind of just guessing there, I can't even see going in. Okay, let's put it away like this. That is a very thin area to go into. Just hope I don't let anything else on this. To what? Okay. I believe that is that. Okay, so now we've just got to put it all back together. So, 32 minutes recording on this. Will I get it done in three minutes? I very much doubt I'll get it done in three minutes. Which way did this go? <laughs> Now. Could be 
disastrous loss. Goes that way. This has to go through here. So we'll start by putting all of the small screws back in the LCD screen. I think I had a glow mist filter on here and I haven't even got the glow mist filter on. Bizarre, that. Seems quite bulky there, I'm not sure why. Some plenty of time on there. Tons of time on there. Tons of time on there. I am dying to get this camera back up and running. I have missed it so much, especially on my days out. It's such a great camera. So for your information, this costs around £180 if you have it sent off and have a specialist uh, repair this. The cable cost me £38 from AliExpress. Um, like I say, I'll put a link in the description where you can get the same cable I've bought if it's something that you feel comfortable doing. And obviously if it works, but we'll find that out at the end of the video. Super tiny screws. 
screws. Oh, super, super small screws. Yeah, so then once back in, we need this. Oh, was oh, was this again? This was. Mm -hmm. Just slides in, it clips in. That's it. It's not there. Move this mess out of the way. I'm gonna keep that there because I think I might need that. Um, that was now it needs to go on the back of oh, here, and that goes on like. Feet screwed. Put on, don't I? So these are the short ones. I think these were the short ones. You the short fat ones, the short thin ones, which is there. Short thin ones in the back of the flip down screen. Short thin ones, one at a time. And I'll still on the screen here. Feel right, it feels too tight. That's that one. Let's put some fat ones and some short, thin ones. And you want the short, thin ones to go into the back of these hinges. Now we need to get them to back 
in here. And this is the uh, fiddly bit again, which should probably be wearing gloves, I think, whilst touching this kind of stuff. But right, so I'm going to have to get the lights back round here. Ah. Nope, that's fiddly. Oh my word, this is so fiddly. And I cannot see where that's going to slide in. Right, I think I'm sliding it in the wrong place. I think it's going to go just above. Ah. That has to be the worst part, the cables, they are so fiddly, so, so fiddly, just cannot get that in. How do these guys do this? Yeah. Seem to be easier doing it that way. Is it going to be easier this way for this?
Sorry, you'll not be able to see this down over because I cannot. I just cannot get it in. That'd be weird. Right, I think that's them in. Oh, I'll tell you what it is, before I screw it all back up, I'm going to uh, put the battery in and see if, see if it actually switches on. Let's have a look. Yes. Does the touch screen still work? Yeah, yes, touch screen still works, look. Yeah, forward. And we aren't getting it. Uh, oh, turn that off. Touch screen still works. You can see that there. Right, that means we can now screw it all back together. Good stuff. Let's switch it off, take the batteries out. Oh, I need them open. So the long ones on the bottom. So I'm going to do the long ones first on the bottom. Let's put the end cover on. Screwing in place. Remembering there's one in the battery bay as well. Get these ones in first though. Oh, I'm so excited to be having this camera back. I'm so excited. I've missed it so much. I have missed it so much. Short ones there. I think it was in the eyepiece, wasn't it?
Okay, so that's attached to there, that's attached to there. Should still double check that again, and I'm going to flip the screen out, make sure the same thing isn't happening where it goes green. Yep. Make sure it all works fine. Yep, super quick, awesome stuff. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now I just want to make sure that everything is screwed down there. We've got two more to go on the back here. I think they were short ones. And they were the short fat ones, these two, I believe. Then it's just a key is finding out what oh, eight minutes left in there where the rest of the screws go. So, two in here, wasn't it? That's right. I think they were the bigger, fatter ones again. Two in there. Two left, near went in the ports. There's two here, wasn't it? Yeah, one, two. We are all back together. Happy days. Let's have a look. I right, piece back on. I right, piece on. Oh, no, can we, uh... And we now have a fully working camera. Yes. And the tilt screen isn't being affected. And I can now. I have my Z50 back. Absolutely brilliant. That is not for the faint hearted folks. I would actually highly recommend you send it off and actually have it professionally done. I'm just showing people out there who may, may be kind of used to doing this kind of thing or quite competent and actually working on small electronics. Um, first time I've ever done that, so you've seen in real time how easy it is. Like I say, the links will be in the description to the ribbon cable that I purchased. Um, I will put a shout out on the screen too. The guy who actually pointed me in the right direction for that cable so thank you very much and thank you for the little instructions you gave us as well via the message that's really appreciated so there you go that is the nikon z50 repaired the ribbon cable repaired now i'm just going to make sure that i don't actually kink it um, and one thing i do have to make sure as well is that on the original one in say there was a more there was kind of i could probably wrap some tape around it i probably should have done there's a little extra bit on the end of it um, I'll show you there, on the end of there, which stopped kind of coming out the back and stopped that pulling out of where it was inserted inside onto the onto the board. But that's the only kind of thing, issue I've got to watch out for. But I'll probably not be moving the screen much to be fair now. Now I know that that can be a fault on the Z50. I'll probably make sure that doesn't happen again. So there you go. Hope that has been helpful. If it has, please give it a thumbs up and uh, consider subscribing to the channel. And we are going to go out photographing with the Z50. It's been a while, so I'm looking forward to doing that. So thanks very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. See you then.